Hi everyone! Welcome to the third Halloween video where I showcase the random crap I've managed to get from various places that is Halloween themed. So everything that I have today is actually from Goodwill. Now you'll notice my setup's a little bit different. That's because where I normally work is really messy right now and I just haven't bothered cleaning it up yet. So I just moved into a different room. <laughs> it's actually my game room and I actually have both kittens in here with me today. They're just hanging out, hopefully not chewing on any of the Halloween stuff. Because they are right next to it. Anyway, start off with, I got like four or five packages of these. Like I said, these are all from Goodwill. But originally, I believe, it says gloom for your room. I think most, if not all of it, originally came from Walgreens. So these are like little sticker packs. There's six little sticker books in here. Which I'm planning to possibly this year actually pass out instead of just like a handful of candy little baggies so I can put more than just candy in them and each kid gets basically you know an equal amount also I just noticed one of the kittens is chewing on something they shouldn't be stop that but these are the little stickers that come in them they're really cute but it's basically from that point on all the same stickers which kinda sucks but hey Stickers are awesome. You can put them anywhere and everywhere. And with duplicate stickers, you don't have to worry so much about where you put it. You can always put another one elsewhere. So, you know, stickers. <laughs> then I got, okay, I also got these. There's 80 treat bags. 80 of them. I got these for, oh, well, 50 cents. Uh, what was the original price? Eh, eh. Eh, eh. About a dollar. It says 99 cents, but there's there's 80 of them, which is quite a lot, and I'm sure I'll have some left over. I also got, eh, I've already started like putting these up places, a bag of 20 little bats that have suction cups on them. This is the underside. They're so cute. I've already pulled, gotten into these because I really love bats, so I wanted to keep some for myself for various projects. So I may or may not actually give those out, or I may just keep them for projects. Same with this little baggie of 24 roaches. Obviously, I haven't opened this one. I did just get this one today, so let's see. I will open the roaches. And they're kind of realistic. Like, I was picking them up, and my boyfriend was like, oh, no, don't, please. What are you going to do with those? I'm like, I'm going to put one in every one of your dinners. So, yeah, they're pretty creepy. Oh, that really is so grotesque looking. But I got a bag of 24 of them. Now, these I'm almost certain I will be keeping for, you know, various projects. Possibly, like, really making something gruesome looking. Yeah, it's got roaches crawling in it, you know. I also got a rose for 50 cents. It's glittery. It was the most intact, but it's a black rose. And you can never have enough of the uh, dark gothic floral stuff. Then I also got this. I thought about getting more of them, but when I went back today, they didn't have any. But... I don't really want to give one of these to my cousins. There is a built-in whistle. Mmm. <whistles> That's not happening. Heaven forbid any one of my very rowdy cousins gets a hold of one. The whistling would never stop and my grandparents would glare at me. But it's got a flashlight. This glows, flashes, it can go in it intervals. I'm thinking about putting this flashing into one of my jack-o'-lanterns that does not currently have any sort of light inside of it. You know, one of my fake ones. Could use it for a real one, but I've got other ones for the real ones. 
but it's really cool. And it's green, and I love green. Speaking of green, I have a door cover, and it says spooky, which on my other channel, as some people may know, this is not my main channel, it will be for a while, you know, but I've actually got a nickname where I am called Spooky, so I start collecting signs and things like that that say Spooky. Speaking of which, I also got this tin that says Spooky. It's super cute. I don't know what I'll put in it yet. Maybe Halloween cookies. Or leftover Halloween candy. Hmm. I got it for a dollar, and I got this for a dollar. I've been forgetting to say what prices I actually get things for. This was 50 cents. I may or may not have said that. I got some little battery operated lights. Um, they're white. I got these today. And by today, I mean the day of my filming because I probably will not have uploaded it this video the same day. I haven't tested them out yet. Uh, I don't even know what kind of batteries they take. Two double A's. I'll be right back. Okay, there's batteries in them now. So, my wife... Wow! I was going to say moment of truth, but then I hit it already. These are really cool. It's really bright. Little bats. Uh, I got them for a dollar. Next up, I've got fence pieces. I've been needing to get some of these to help guide the trick-or-treaters. And these were only two dollars. Yeah! Another thing, I think you can never have enough of these. A tombstone for a dollar. And it's pretty big. It's a thicker tombstone as well. I also got one more spooky sign. All glittery. Normally I don't go for glittery as fudge. But, uh... Nice save. I just couldn't resist. It's so cute. There's like a little crow and a bat and a skull. Ah. Then I got a Beanie Boo. His name is Treats. He's a little cute reaper. And the last thing I got, and I'm running out of time, is this guy. Let's see if I can't press him. So, yeah, that's all I got so far, but man, I am so excited for this year. I've got so many more decorations. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.